What's up guys, Humphrey here. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about things on personal finance and investing here on YouTube. And today I want to share with you guys what's exactly in my Roth IRA. There's no mystery here. Let me bring up my portfolio for you guys. And you can see that I only hold five different funds in my Roth IRA. And actually one of those funds is a money market fund. So that doesn't even count. So I only have four funds in my Roth IRA. And today we're gonna talk about those choices that I made and more. Now I started my Roth IRA in my late twenties and some people might consider that age a little bit late, but when it comes to investing in your own future and your own retirement, I would argue there's no age that's too late. So here's today's video structure. First, we're gonna go over really quickly what a Roth IRA is. Second, we're going to show you exactly what's in my Roth IRA. And then lastly, I'm going to give you some tips on how to decide what to invest in in your own Roth IRA. I know that the investing world seems really large and there seems to be an endless supply of different investments that you can choose from, but don't worry, I've got you guys today. So if you just follow along with me in today's video, we're going to go through exactly how to get started and what kind of investments to even choose or think about. If you watch my video on the six places where your money needs to go after you get your paycheck, that's actually one of the first suggestions that I made was saving for retirement. And so if you'd like to check out that video, I'll leave a link in the description below and right here. Having your money go towards future you is going to give you some peace of mind and actually secure your own financial future. So that's where I think the Roth IRA really comes in. The Roth IRA is an individual retirement account that anybody can contribute to as long as they have earned income. This means that you need to make either wages, salaries, or tips, or basically have some sort of W-2 or 1099 income. So if you're a card shark making a bunch of money in underground poker games, this retirement account might not be for you because you don't have something called earned income, but you could take those skills, enter in the World Series of Poker, win a tournament, actually pay taxes on those winnings, and then contribute to a Roth IRA. That's one solution. But if you aren't a card shark and you have a normal income, you can basically open a Roth IRA at any brokerage firm that offers it. Now, the main advantage of having a Roth IRA is that all of your profits and your earnings from your investments are growing tax-free. That means by the time you retire and you withdraw all of your earnings in your Roth IRA, you're not paying any taxes on it. And that's the biggest benefit of this account. Because our earnings are growing tax-free, there are gonna be some strategies that we can employ in the Roth IRA to take advantage of this tax advantage. Now, if you're under the age of 50, you can only contribute $6,000 a year into your Roth IRA. If you're over the age of 50, you can contribute $7,000 as part of a catch-up mechanism. The other notable thing is that with a Roth IRA, you need to contribute to it with after-tax dollars, so your money has already been taxed when you contribute to your Roth IRA. In a traditional IRA, it's exactly the opposite. You actually contribute to your traditional IRA with pre-tax income, but as a result, when you withdraw your money in a traditional IRA, the earnings are taxed. So that is one of the small disadvantages of the Roth IRA is that you do not get a tax deduction when contributing to it because you've already paid taxes on your money. Now, here's a fun note, because it's the beginning of the year, Happy New Year, by the way, you can still contribute to previous year's Roth IRA as long as it's before the tax date of this year, April 15th, 2021. That means all the way up until April 15th, you still have a chance to to contribute $6,000 into your Roth IRA for 2020 or the year before. The last thing I'd like to bring up about the Roth IRA is that there's actually an income limit. If you make more than $139,000 per year, you technically cannot contribute to a Roth IRA. Now there is a loophole around this, which I think is pretty funny because the IRS just kind of allows you to do this. But basically what you do is if you make more than $139,000 per year, you can contribute to a traditional IRA and then you can roll that traditional IRA into a Roth IRA later. Now that loophole is called the backdoor Roth IRA and there are a lot of YouTube videos online. So if you're interested in that sort of thing and you make too much income, you might wanna look into that. Okay, so with that being said, that's a summary of the Roth IRA. Now let's look into some of the funds that I chose in my Roth IRA and why I chose them. So as you can see in my portfolio right here, my Roth IRA has around $29,000 invested and holds the following funds. First, it holds VTI which is a total stock market ETF with $13,000 invested. Second, it holds VEU, which gives you broad access to international markets that are developing and emerging, about $8.8,000. BNDW, which is a world bond ETF that gives me to access to bonds all across the world. And lastly, I invest in VOO, which is the S&P 500 ETF. I have about 3.3K invested in that. Now, initially when I started my Roth IRA, I only had three funds. And basically the way that I split up my portfolio was 40% VTI, 40% VEU, and 20% BND. Now at the time, my reasoning was pretty simple. I was in my late 20s. My risk tolerance was moderate to moderately aggressive. I wanted to 
have a mix of bonds, so 20% bonds, but also 80% equities, which is the 40% BTI and 40% BEU. And I wanted a passive investment that I didn't have to actively manage, so that's why I chose ETFs. The reason why I chose a 40-40 split of VTI and VEU is that I wanted to be exposed to some US stocks, but also some international stocks just to hedge my bets against the US market. I felt that this choice was diversifying myself within my own portfolio, within the ETFs themselves, and also within all of the stocks in the world. Now, in the middle of 2020, I contributed another $6,000 to my Roth IRA as I should, and basically I invested half of that $3,000 into VTI, and then I also invested $3,000 into the position of VO which is an S&P 500 ETF. Now, the reason I added VOO was because I wanted more exposure to the S&P 500 versus VTI has S&P 500 included, but it also has 3,000 other stocks in there. Since all my holdings are ETFs, I think they should perform fine in the long haul and also offer a bunch of diversification, which is what I was looking for. In actuality, the amount of risk that I'm putting in my Roth IRA right now is actually probably on the lower side compared to how aggressive you could get if you just invested in individual stocks within your Roth IRA. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about what you should be investing in your Roth IRA. Should you choose individual stocks or should you choose ETFs and funds like I do? Now, when it comes to investing in a Roth IRA, I think it's a super personal process and it should be done without you listening to too many people telling you what to do. But there are a few different guidelines that we can follow when it comes to figuring out what to invest in in our Roth IRA that I'm going to share with you right now. First, you want to assess your risk tolerance. If you're a more conservative investor, you're going to have a different pool of investments that you're going to choose from versus if you're you're an aggressive investor. You can take a questionnaire online from Vanguard to assess your risk tolerance, and I'll leave a link for that in the description below that you can check out. After you assess your risk tolerance, what you can do is try to identify what type of actual investor you are. Are you someone who's more passive and likes to set it and forget it? If so, you might wanna to lean towards index funds and ETFs. If you're more active, you can look into more individual stocks because if you really enjoy reading earnings reports and figuring out what stock's gonna be the next best thing, then maybe individual stocks is more your style. Once you figure out your risk tolerance and what type of investor you are, you're gonna to wanna to pick some investments that are beneficial to your Roth IRA while at the same time considering your overall portfolio diversification. What I mean by that is, is that if you have half of your total investable assets in a Roth IRA and half in a brokerage account, it's good to look at the full picture. For example, if you have a lot of ETFs in your Roth IRA like I do, and that's a certain percentage of my overall portfolio, that means I can be a little bit riskier in maybe my more traditional brokerage account where I don't have so many ETFs and index funds. Your risk tolerance and portfolio allocation should be aligned over your entire investment portfolio and not just one account. As for the types of investments in your Roth IRA, there's a lot of things to choose from. So let's talk about all of them really quickly here. For example, if you invested in ETFs, these are a great passive way to actually get involved in investing. And not only that, within a Roth IRA, because it's held in a tax-free or tax-advantaged account, all the dividends that you get from any ETF or index fund is gonna be tax-free, which is gonna be great for your retirement. Individual stocks are also another interesting asset to hold within a Roth IRA that could be really amazing because the growth is gonna be tax-free, all of those earnings are tax-free, and if you choose the right stock, those earnings could be tremendous. For example, if you bought one share of Apple in 1980, so 40 years ago, your $22 investment would have multiplied 1,281 times over. So let's say you had 100 shares of an investment back in 1980 in Apple in a tax sheltered account. That means your investment is worth $2,200, and today that would be worth over $2.8 million. That's pretty crazy because if you had to pay taxes on that gain, that would actually be $420,000 that would be going to the government. Since this individual stock outperformed any index fund or ETF for the past 40 years, the tax advantages of this particular investment are going to be greater in a Roth IRA simply because the earnings were just way more. So it's almost like going big in a Roth IRA is quite advantageous because if you do capture a lot of earnings with an individual stock, those earnings are going to be tax-free. Bonds are another example of an investment that you can keep in your Roth IRA. Since interest payments cannot be reinvested directly into a bond, by having your interest payments flow into a Roth IRA, that means they won't be taxed and therefore save you more money. Another good investment asset to hold within a Roth IRA is something like a real estate investment trust. So a real estate investment trust or a REIT has to legally pay over 90% of their income in dividends. Now those dividends would normally be taxed in a normal brokerage account, but because you're having them in a Roth IRA, those dividends are actually going to be tax sheltered. Similarly, if you own a bunch of dividend stocks in your Roth IRA, that can also be good as well. So these are just some of the investments that you can invest into your own Roth IRA in, and a lot of the investment decisions are going to be guided by your own risk 
risk tolerance, your own time horizon, and basically your investment style. If you're looking for something pretty simple, I would suggest you watch my video on a simple investing portfolio. It's a time-tested portfolio with only three funds. All right, guys, if you got any value out of this video, make sure to drop it a like and subscribe to my channel for future videos from me. If you'd like a free stock from Robinhood when you deposit any amount of money, even if it's just $1, you can use the link in my description for that below. Lastly, thanks to all my Patreon supporters. I appreciate you guys being here with me. I will see you guys in the next video, which will just be in a couple days here. All right, peace.